Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. Today, again, I'm catching up on a bunch of my subscription boxes and today's will be Ipsy. Now, again, some of the videos I've posted before, there's been some great Ipsy bags and then there's been some really not great ones. Um, I think the issue with Ipsy is the consistency of the, like, I don't know, the quality of items that they send you. And again, you're going to have a, like a mix of like a full size product with sample sizes. And so it gives you a good selection, diversity, you know, of different products, uh, personally, like I've said before, I think I like the AIA boxes a little bit better because they give you a full selection of one brand per box. So you really get a good idea of like that brand's um, quality and if you like, if you think you're going to like that brand. So again, catching up, haven't been here for a bit. So I have three months of Ipsy. I have August, September, and October that I need to open. So maybe we can do a, like, if there's enough product in there so that we can do like some sort of look for today. So of course, again, no makeup, no anything on my face, um, just to see what's in the, what's in the bags and if we can do something, you know, again, because I have meetings the rest of the day, I can't do like super wild, crazy makeup, but maybe some good neutral makeup. So let's start with August. Here's that one. It's pretty light. So let's see what this one has. And again, if you haven't subscribed, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, um, turn on the notifications, hit the bell button, hit that like, and leave me comments of what you would like to see me unbox. Um, if you find some good subscription boxes out there that are not too pricey, um, let me know. Oh my God, I'm dropping stuff, hold on. Okay, I'm back. So this one, the August, yes. It says, save the date, time to choose your favorite product. Hotel Paradise is the theme. Um, and they included the little price point list. And first thing is that I dropped is this brush, eyeshadow brush from Estate. It's EEP03. There's that one. And like I said, it's Estate EEP03. So it looks like just, you know, a good, a good eyeshadow brush. It's nice. I like the color, very neutral, very pretty. Uh, the little bag is so cute. I always like this tropical kind of print, really like it. And then has the little leaf that says Ipsy on it. So let's see what's in store. So this one, first one is the Fiji Fuji Collagen Whip Vitamin Mask. That one. So, like that. Oh, they, they like shrink wrap this. So, now I have to open this. Here we go. It says, Dew of the Gods. Ooh. Well, hopefully it's not too make 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 my face too dewy like I said before um I have very oily skin so dewy isn't always my best friend so Fiji Fuji also oh, this is a mini there you go cute little packaging love the colors let's see what else is in here lasting smiles Smiles, smile for a cause, caring for people and our planet. Uh, organic lip balm and peach blossom. So that's that one. I like lip balm a lot. And with the weather starting, 
to be all crazy and cold. My lips need it. it smells good. Very, very light scent to the peach. So this is nice. I like lip balm. And this is Jasmine Beauty Lux Lash Volumizing Mascara. And I'm assuming it's black. It doesn't say, but there's that. Jasmine Beauty. Let's look at the wand. I mean, thank you for shrink wrapping, but at the same time, like having to get this off. Let's look at the brush and see what type of brush it is. Oh, this is a nice brush. See, it has like a little curve there. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. See that? It's like it dips down in the middle. I like that brush. It's nice. And then last thing in this little box, it looks like it's a little palette. And so far, I haven't had the greatest luck with the palettes that come in the Ipsy bags. They tend to be like a little too chalky, too dry. Um, and not enough like color payout, but we'll see. This is a good um, color scheme and it's Bella Pure Cosmetic. It's only naturally eyeshadow palette. So it's very neutral, natural. See that? I mean, I like this color story, but we'll see how this plays out. I mean, Half of it is matte, half of it is shimmer, so that's always nice. And you have a good base right there. I mean, this is only the colors that I like to use, but again, we'll see, we'll see. So for this one, it says the lasting lip balm was $5.99. It says full size. Is this not a full size? It looks like a full size. So $6 for lip balm, has it gotten that pricey? I don't know, hmm. Um, this one is the Deluxe Sample, MSRP of the full size version of this product, 100 grams is $42. So this one doesn't tell me. That's what I don't like about Ipsy, like they tell you the prices, but they don't tell you the prices of what you're actually getting. This is $10, so so far we're at $15.99 and the mascara so this is a deluxe sample because the full size is eight milliliters and this one's five so the full size is 24 this one's worth 15 so we're at 30 99 for the total and then they said this one is full size this is a full size and it's $25 so we're at $55.99 so I mean this is really $25 that's pretty pricey no what do you think 25 bucks okay so this bag was like 50 what did I say 55.99 for Hotel Paradise. That was like, again, the August. So let's move on to the September Ipsy. This one's a little bit heavier, so I'm thinking maybe it has a little bit more of the skincare. That's what I found, that if it's a little bit heavier, it probably has skincare products in there. Um, so let's look in here. Ooh, I like the bag so far. So first things first, they give you another little eye shadow brush, looks like. And this one is La Rouge, La Rouge, La Rouge. And this is the Angled Shading Brush, LR117. So I don't know, you tell me how you say that name. I have no idea. But this is a brush. It's really neat. It has like a chrome finish here, angled. And 
nice texture here. And like I said, there it says LR117 angled shading. So that's pretty cool. We have two brushes so far, two eyeshadow brushes. So the thing for this one is you got this. And the moment you've been waiting for, five new products valued at 50 plus are yours. Okay. So what I really like is the little bag is like this. So pretty, iridescent with the little ipsy little charm there. This is nice, I like this little baggie. So let's see what's in here. Ooh, Tatcha Indigo Overnight Repair. This is nice. I like this. I mean, and it has quite a bit in here, so. It's serum and cream, soothing Japanese indigo. That's a nice one. Very impressed with that. And then we have this little thing, it's a little pod. What is this? Outlast Metallic Eyeshadow by Lottie London. I think that's it. And let's see what's in here. It says it's, the color is Outlast. So let's see what that means. Oh my God. So it comes like this, has that little thing in there. Oh, I think it's just like loose. Look at that. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Look. I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, that's all I can say. I'm gonna have to see how that works. Oy, scary. Let's see what else is in here. It's uh, Pink Lips, Pink Lips Tinted Lip Balm in Dream. Yeah, the shape is dream. So there's that. The shape looks like, ooh, it is pink. Pink, pink. Oh, but it's like very like translucent. Cause it's a lip balm, that makes sense. But that looks scary at first, but it's really just like that. Ay, that was scary. That scare me all, scare me. And then last thing in this one is the pressed banana powder in medium. Mm, I don't know. The Bella Peer Cosmetics, which was the same thing as the first box, but that one had the eyeshadows. This one has the pressed banana powder. It's a good amount, it's a good size. How do I open this? Hi. <laughs> uh... There you go. I don't know if it's, I mean, it's supposed to be translucent, right? Okay, so that's what's in this bag. So let's see what the total was for this one. This one, the brush was $28, right here. The Tatcha, Indigo Overnight Cream is $88 for the full size. So it's $17.60. Um, the, what's the little, this little pot is worth $17.60. So plus the um, brush, we're at $45.60. And then the Pink Lips Cosmetics Lumi Balm Lip Tint in Dream is $12. And then the, and this is full size. The Lottie London Power Foil in Outlast Cranberry. So it's Power Foil Pigmented Foil Eyeshadow. Um, it's considered a cranberry color. So that one is, this is a full size and it's $8. Okay. 
The last item is the Bella Pierre Cosmetics Pressed Banana Setting Powdering Medium, and this is a full size and it's 25. So this bag was $90.60. That's how much mm, product was in here, which is good. It's not bad. It's a nice price point, you know, nice value that you're getting. But I really like this bag, it's really cute. So there is that. We throw this and make room for the last one. So the last one we're gonna do is um, October. It's very thin and very light. So I wonder, hopefully it includes something cool because if it's October, like I imagine I would have wanted to include makeup um, cause Halloween, hello. But we'll see what they did. So the theme for this one is Halloween. Um, so we'll see what, okay. So the bag right off the bat is cool. Look at that. Spider web, so neat. And then there's a little spider here. Oh, that's cute. And the Ipsy brand is over here. So I don't mind that. It's tiny. That's cool. It is thin though. So we'll see what they included. Um, so this is the first product. And this is Ciate London Metallic Eyeshadow in Peach Party. So it's like this, right there. Let's see what this is. Like this, Ciate London. Oh, this is pretty. I would, I will definitely use that color. So nice. That is pretty. Next thing is Shades by Shan. San Francisco. So I guess this is a lipstick and the shade is San Francisco. Shades by Shan. So there's, there's that one. And San Francisco is the shade. This is a good color. Let's see. Yeah, that's a nice color and it's creamy. So that's nice. And then this is Probiotic Super Dose Face Mask by Chorus Greek Yogurt. So there's that one. Hey Honey, Good Morning Honey Silk Facial Serum. This definitely is a deluxe sample, but there it is, it's deluxe facial serum. And then last thing in this one is Magic Feather Intense Volume Mascara. So this is definitely a deluxe sample because it clearly says on here not for resale. So that means that's a sample. And there's that one. And let's see, let's look at the brush, a little spoolie. Ooh, so this is like a rubber spoolie, but look how it moves a lot. I'm not a fan of that. The silicone ones like that, that that move. I like the shape of the brush of the little spoolie, but I don't like that it's so like wiggly. I find that I get, I tend to get it all over my face. Okay, so let's find out how much that one was worth. So the Hey Honey Good Morning Honey Silk Facial Serum is $49 for a um, full size. But this one is only a third, so it's sixteen dollars and thirty-three cents. It's that's what it's worth. The Shades by Shan lipstick in San Francisco. This one's eight dollars. I think that's one of the least expensive lipsticks I've I've seen. Okay, so interesting to note though, everything in this box was a deluxe sample except for the lipstick, whereas the one before had like, oh, I think only two deluxe samples. Everything else was full size. Hmm. So the mascara, 
Ditto Magic Feather Intense Volume Mascara is $12 for the full size. This is a deluxe, so I'm gonna go with half, half the price, just because it doesn't say how much is in there. The Ciate London Metallic Eyeshadow in Peach Party is full size is 12 grams for $20. Okay, so we're at $32.83 with that. This is a cheap, this is a really inexpensive one. And this one's $49 for a full size. And I would say it's like $10. So we're only at $43. Okay, so different day because my camera decided to stop working. So it was right when I was gonna try the products that it just went no more. So decided to try to fix it, reboot, whatever wasn't working so next day <laughs> it took 24 hours um so let's get into trying the products i did not get to try them and i didn't want to try them um until i was back on camera so first things first let's do the lasting smiles like i like to put some lip balm on my lips uh be you know before you i put on anything else on my face because um that way your lips are nicely moisturized by the time you get to put it on like a lipstick or whatever it is you're going to put on your lips for color so let's do this mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and i like to really layer it in there like good amount so that they're super moisturized somebody make weird faces when you do that i do all the time so this was the Lasting Smiles in Peach Blossom. And it does have a little faint scent of peach, but it's not so overwhelming, like overbearing. And it's just a sheer color. So this is cool. Next thing is I'm going to try this Hey Honey Good Morning Honey Silk Facial Serum. That one that was in the box. And it says luxurious, luxurious serum and makeup primer. So let's do that. Let's put some of that on. So there's, oh, and it has the little seal. So hygienic purposes, awesome. Side note, I was walking, grabbing some stuff and I totally rolled my ankle. So that's always fun, right? It's it's a little achy right now. But if you all knew me in person, you would know I'm such a klutz that that is not like abnormal for me to do something like that. So let me put some of this on. Mm -hmm. Oh, my skin is dry today. Like, well, not dry, but like, you know, yeah, it is dry. It's like sucking up anything I put on it because of the weather changes. Like where I'm at, it was like in the 40s yesterday. And then today it's going to be like in the mid 70s Fahrenheit. So that's fun. And it looks like it does help. Like I can feel... My skin's a lot smoother, a lot softer. So that's nice. And it's not heavy. But it's because it's a serum. Um, so that's nice. Um, let's see. What else? What else did we have that was skincare? Uh, the other stuff that we had were, were masks. So I'm not going to try those on right now. And then the Tatcha stuff is the overnight repair. So I'll leave this out because it's supposed to be for overnight so I'll use that later and I always start my makeup with the eyes because I'm a messy girl and if I do my like foundation and all that and then I put do my eyeshadow and it's like if there's any fallout or anything forget it I can't clean it up nicely without ruining everything else so might as well just start with the eyes. So I'm gonna use this little palette that came in. 
um, and see how this works out. And I am going to use the brushes that came in the in the bags. So it's the Estate and the La Rouge, La Rouge. Yeah. Well, anyway, it's these two. Um. So I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna start like using this one up here for the base and then like darkening up the crease maybe with one of these um and then maybe putting a little bit of sparkle on the eyelid like that one again very neutral very very me so let's start with the lightest hopefully there's I'm gonna use my little mirror so let's do let's try that like you could get away with just using this little color just if you want a super natural look and you just want a little bit of color to even out the color of your eyelid this is a nice one at least for my skin tone you know see it's really nice where this one doesn't have anything this one does it's very subtle very very subtle which i appreciate and the camera's not picking up much of the color payout but I promise it's like even in evening out the color of my of my lid. So that's nice. Like I said, if all you want is to even out the color and just be very natural, just doing like this color would be nice. It would be just enough, I think. Like the makeup, the no makeup makeup look, this would be this would be it for me. Again, it's very, very light. So let's see what I'm going to use to do the crease. These other browns are a little bit on the reddish side. So I'm going to go just with the next darkest color. Um, so I use this one right here. The next darkest is this one in this corner. So I'm going to use that one. I don't want too much. it's a little too red for me I'm more like the brown I want it to be more brown rather than like a brick red brick and this is really really soft but because it's so soft and it's not as dense it's very wiggly so I don't know that this is the best to like do this type of of application like my other angle brushes are a little bit stiffer. Not that they're stiffer, I think it's more that they're just more bristles, more little hairs in it. So it's denser, that's the word. It's denser, so it's a little bit better to be like precision, like for precision. I can't speak today, sorry. It's very soft though, so that's really nice. And the eyeshadow palette has a pretty good color payout. So I don't have to rub or, you know, like do too much on my lids to get some color. So again, very natural looking. That's what I'm going for. Um, I'm gonna try the darker one and see how much that it that comes like that how much color that puts on my lid it's just a little bit too red that's my issue with these so you can see that now and this I'll clean up normally when I put on my foundation And always struggles are the hooded lid. Like, that's always my struggle. Oh well. Okay, so now I'm gonna put a little bit of this like coppery color up here on my lid. And for that, I do need more of a flat brush. So I'm gonna use this brush that I already own and see how 
the payout of this or the fallout too. See, these don't do much. They're very patchy. Like the, the glitter, the shimmer is a little too patchy for me. Maybe wet would be better, but can't really see them on camera. Like in person, it's a very subtle, very, very subtle. Which is nice again, if you wanna do just like this as an everyday look, um, that's nice. Like if you wanted more of a dramatic, then maybe try wetting them if you got these and see how that works out for you. Let's try this one, the Ciate. Oh, you're over here, huh? The Ciate. Let's try that one and see maybe that one gives us a little bit more. I think this is definitely a better one. See, I'm wearing that one here and I'm not wearing that one here. I think you see a, li a little bit better. I don't know if it's because I put it on top of the other one, but this one, it's also a finer formula. It's not as chunky as the other one. I mean, the other one's not super chunky, but you can definitely feel the difference. This one's a little bit smoother. And I think it's because it's lighter. Maybe that's why you can see it more once you put it on the lids. And then just up here. Again, very light, very subtle. You can kind of see a little bit of the shimmer there. So we're good. It's okay. Y'all, I am not brave enough to try this Outlast, this Lottie London Outlast, this one. This is very intimidating to me. Look at that. Like, uh, maybe later, maybe I'll try that later. Maybe I'll try it on my hand. How do you get it? Oh, okay, okay. So let's see how it works. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so it's like creamy. Look at that. It's like creamy. I thought it was gonna be more powdery. Do we just dare try putting it on the lids after everything? Oh yeah, just that little part makes a big difference. Like a little goes a long way with this one, y'all. Just blend it out a bit. Like the edges of it, blend it out so it's not like very noticeable where it's like the glitter starts here, the shimmer starts here, and then your regular eyeshadow. I'm just gonna blend it, blend the outside, the edges of that. You can't barely see it, but that's because I put very, very, very tiny amounts, like what was left over from this. Like, it's a beautiful color. Look at that. But I think it definitely takes more guts to wear it throughout the day than I have right now, than I have today. So they gave us two mascaras, and I know one of them had the jiggly Oh, this is the one that had the jiggly one. So I'm going to do that one. Um, I'm going to try the other one just because it's more like, oop, sorry. It's more my type of mascara, like the little wand. So let's try that. I'm going to curl my eyelashes just a little to see the difference. And again, this has like a little dip in the brush. And the little spoolie. I tend to like that. But sorry, my pup is like, lick my paws. I they're so yummy. So you hear that? That was my pup. Sorry. Now I do have naturally long lashes. 
So that's always helpful with mascaras. So I have a little thing there. There you go. Like again, just I have naturally long lashes. They're just very straight. Okay, so that is both eyes with mascara and this is the Jasmine Beauty mascara in, in black. So that's that. I really like that. It's very natural for me, like very natural looking. Uh, I'm just gonna do this to my eyeshadow to try to clean it up a bit because I'm not putting on foundation. Maybe I should. Uh, maybe I'll just do a light, like, BB cream type of thing. Yeah, let's just do that. This is just for my personal. And let's get put it on really quickly with a brush. That uh, way we can test out that pressed powder to see how it does. And as you will see, this one, <laughs> I'm trying to speak as I put this stuff on. Um, it doesn't provide too much coverage, which I'm fine with, because I'm, like I said, I'm trying to do very natural since I do have other things I need to be doing the rest of the day that where I cannot have like a ton of makeup on. And this is more like my look anyway. If you're wanting to see like super like, you know, intense makeup, I'm probably not your girl. Maybe someday, maybe when I learn how to do makeup, maybe I'll be like, yes, come look at the beautiful makeup that I am throwing on my face. But you see like, it's very subtle the coverage, but it does make a difference. Um, but it's very light, but you can still see my natural skin coming through. And that's what I like about it. Like BB cream, CC creams, that type of stuff. So we're gonna try this pressed banana powder in medium. It might be a little too light for me, but it's a banana powder, so we'll see. I'm gonna do a big poofy brush and do that. You can tell like right there where I put the powder. I don't know why they have like a weird shadow over here. Like my lighting's weird today. And I am trying to organize everything over here because I have a bunch of little plants and stuff. That one my nephew gave me for my birthday. So I'm like, yes, of course, I will take care of it with my life. That's why it's being displayed right there. Um, but I'm trying to organize all of that to make it look, you know, organized better and more aesthetically pleasing. Um, so yeah, this powder's nice. I thought it was going to be a little too light. And as the day progresses and my natural oils start seeping through, I think, I think it'll be, it'll be fine. And then finally, we have lips. So this is the one where I, that I got really scared about, but it's very sheer. And this is like an actual lipstick. So again, that's the color. It's a little bit, I like it. It's a nice color, but it's definitely, let me see, let me write this off. Let's try this one. It's creamy, but at the same time, like, kind of dry. And this is the Shades by Shan in San Francisco. So there it is. Like, again, it's a very, goes hand in hand with this color scheme here. You know, like a very adobe brick type of color, which is nice. And a little, I'll be honest, it looks, the color looks better on camera than in person. In person, it's a little... Um, how should I describe it? I think it has to go with the right makeup look, you know? And right now I'm just very like natural looking. So I'm going to take this off and try the other one. Okay. 
So I took it off. There's a little, there's just a, a tiny bit of remnants of that. Let's try this pink, pink one. Again, when I tried it on my hand, it was very sheer. So let's see what it looks like. See, this is more my style. Again, as an everyday, it's more like a tint. See, it just brings out a little bit of the pink, like the pink lip, natural lip color. And it's not too much like it's like a tinted lip balm type of stuff and this is the pink lips brand in the color dream so that's that one I really like this because it just like it kind of moisturizes your lips like that's what I feel it's like a little lip balm but it's like a tinted lip balm and if you're just wanting a little slight bit of color um, for your just everyday look, just to look a little bit like you tried, <laughs> this is a nice one. Let me just brush my eyebrows. And again, I don't do anything to my eyebrows. I don't like to. I don't pluck them. I don't do anything and I'm pretty sure some people are having heart attacks because of that but I really don't like to like I mentioned before I did it once I was not a fan so I just do keep my eyebrows as is um and that's it so all in all I think I liked the lip balm this one and this one's really nice too because it's just clear it's you know, I'm counting this as a lip balm, although it says it's more of a, like it was meant to be lipstick or something, but see, it's just a nice sheer color. So I like these two. Um, the lipstick itself, I think it's okay. Not one of my super favorites. Color wise, I think again, it needs to be with like just the right makeup look that you're doing. It, and it was a little... Although it's supposed to, like it was very smooth on the hand, it was a little dry on the lips. So, yeah. Mm, this this one is I like this one. I could feel a difference in like the smoothness of my skin when I put this on. Um, eyeshadows, um, they're nice, but like the shimmer was a little bit like dry. I guess I don't know. The mattes I liked. And again, it's just a matter of what look you're going for. Um, this combination works great. It's just a little bit more on the red side than the brown side for me. Um, but the mattes, I, I mean, I can work with this. Um, at least this shimmer was just a little dry. The Ciate one was a lot better. This was a lot smoother. Um, and that is such a good color too. And then this one is just intimidating i think that's the biggest thing for me it was just very intimidating um but the color payout is really good as we saw um and then these i don't like the brush on this one the little spoolie i don't like it i don't like it when they're very like the silicone and it's like kind of flimsy because it doesn't give me any leverage to put on my on my eyelashes I know like it's like you need that much leverage but honestly as you're putting on your mascara if you're instead of your brush staying like you know nice and straight and stuff and it keeps doing this when you try to do it for me the application of that just it doesn't work so I don't like that spoolie I like this one I really like this one and then the banana powder I mean I think it did the job right it's fine I'll keep using it. Definitely we'll keep using it. At first I thought it was going to be too light, but it looks like it's a little bit more sheer than I thought. So all in all, I mean, you saw there's some little bags that were um, good price points. And then there's others that were just not. I think the Halloween one was not um, a good, if I remember correctly, it's been a day. 
Um, you know, but that's the thing with Ipsy. Some bags come with a great value in products that they send you. Um, others just are, are not the greatest. Um, when they have full size products, it's nice, but you saw like one of them was just one full size product and the other ones were considered deluxe samples. I'm like, well, if that's the case, I can just go to like Ulta, Sephora, those places and that's for samples. I, I mean, they give them to you in little pods and stuff like that or little packets, sachets and stuff like that. Um, and I'm not paying for them. So, hmm. Again, I know Ipsy has gotten a bad rap, um, but I can understand why, because there's those issues of, you know, I'm paying for this and you're giving me samples, a ton of samples on some bags and one full size product versus, like I said, like one of my favorites is AIA uh, box. It's all full size products and a whole line in, within a brand. So. I don't know if I'll keep doing Ipsy, <laughs> to be honest. Um, the little baggies are cute sometimes, but I just don't see them being that valuable, that worthwhile for me. Um, you let me know what you think. What is your experience with Ipsy if you've had it? <laughs> so again, my camera just stopped working as I was doing my outro. So. So I just switched over to my phone real quick and that way you can also see like the eyeshadow up close. Oh yeah. I was saying like, what has your experience been with Ipsy and would you, did you continue ordering it? How long did you have it? Um, and are you curious to get it and will you? I said, I think I'm going to stop Ipsy because it's not like for me the best value. Uh, that we're getting the um the roi so i think i'm gonna stop that one and continue with other beauty boxes and um go from there tell me your thoughts comment below and again thank you so much for watching thank you so much for sticking to the end and make sure to like subscribe and hit that notification button to so that you know when i will be uploading all right thanks so much and see you on the next one bye